Hello guys, how you all doing? Um, just thought I'd give you a little look at one of my latest pieces. Um, I did say on um, the back video I've gone a little bit crazy. Um, crazy. And um, yeah, got a couple of um, pretty cool pieces coming. Um, this being the first of them, they come in a day apart. I thought they might come on the same day. And uh, this, this, this thing is seriously, seriously well done by a sideshow. Um, I wasn't... I wasn't expecting it to be this good, if I'm honest. I knew it was good. Um, I knew it'd be good, sorry, because uh, I like the 42 and I like the Patriot. And I've had um, two other Iron Man bus by Sideshow before in, in one to one scale. So I really like them. I just think that, um, you know, it, it kind of just, they're, they're very, very accurate. And, uh, you know, if you get a good one, it just looks like you've got part of the suit, um, you know, in front of you. And uh, that's what really appeals to me. But with the 42 in particular, and its sheer size, with the uh, the shoulder bells included, um, I thought I might be a little bit underwhelmed by getting this. And I've I've been after this one for quite a while. Um, I missed out twice, in fact, one on an auction and one on a, a deal off of eBay. Uh, someone beat me to it. So I've always I've always been on the lookout for it, but. It was a case of the right price and what I was willing to pay and it being in the UK as well. Um, so this one came up, um, managed to get it for a really, really decent price. Um, and like I say, it was, I didn't think it was gonna be this good if I'm honest. Um, I just thought because of the sheer size of the 42, to get something else after that that's gonna be a little bit smaller might not kind of do it totally totally wrong um this, this this thing surprised me i'll try and show you why so so we come round firstly this thing is heavy it is like got some serious serious weight um i don't know whether it's heavier than the patriot that's the heaviest one of the heaviest bus I've actually, you know, held. It is like it's got some serious, serious weight to it. This is probably on par, if not heavier. So the, the, the sheer, sheer weight of it is quite, um, you know, it's quite deceiving. Really, it's really, really heavy. Um, the most impressive thing about this bus is is the execution of it. Um, and in particular the paint job. The paint job's nothing like what I thought it was gonna be. Um, and this is where the, the, these bus kind of can suffer a little bit, especially with uh, Sideshow's QC and, and paint apps. Um, but this one, they absolutely nailed it. They really did. They, they got the red to a T. And it's, I, I thought it was gonna be like a sort of a maroony red. Um, with maybe like a kind of speckle in it, like a metallic kind of uh, flick, uh, like sorry, a, 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 like a fleck to it. Um, it's not. It, it, it is metallic-y, but it's got a really. It's, it's a dark red, but it's got a really, really nice burnt orange to it in some in in, in certain angles under light. It is really, really nice. Um, start at the bottom. Honestly, I didn't even know whether the Susan would uh, hold this thing because it is that heavy. It is like seriously heavy. I also prefer the, the, the stand on this one. They've got this kind of like rustic kind of scaled, old, weathered look to it. Um, you know, elements of kind of rust and uh, just general weathering and, and, and kind of... Uh, it, it looks kind of it, it looks kind of lime scaly, you know when you, you, you kind of look inside your kettle and you've got that kind of lime scale texture. That's exactly what it looks like, and I really like it. I think it looks, I, I think that looks better on this one than the other two stands. Um, so yeah, that was a that was a nice kind of touch to it. Just turn him around so you get a a look at the size of this thing. It's massive, really really big. Um, we don't have like the metal kind of circular things like like on the other two bus. Um, I, I like I like the fact that it's not on there. I like the fact that this one's a little bit different. Um, kind of makes it its own piece. Um, 
it's just a sheer execution sideshow and and yeah, a lot of the time in recent years unfortunately we can't you know say that often enough with sideshow because they usually are lacking especially with their paint apps and and their, their sheer execution on pieces but this is i mean i got i got a flawless one this is like completely flawless i've got a very very faint mark on the front which is nothing it's hardly noticeable uh, i don't even think i'll try and try and remove it um it is absolutely flawless but the paint job as you can see um it's got this kind of like a it's it's like a brownie burnt orange look to it and then you, you you kind of move it and then it sort of goes like a more of a red color it is really really well painted this thing really well painted this section here this is kind of shoulder section you can take that off so you can actually pose it still got some of the uh, foam on it um you can actually um you can pose it without that um but i think you've got to put it on haven't you it just uh really kind of finishes the piece off just bring him back round. It's like at the top of the helmet there, you've got this like really nice dark, deep red. And as you go down onto that sort of shoulder section, it's got like this kind of really nice um, burnt, earthy kind of orange with a hint of brown to it. It is really, really well done. I don't know if I mentioned before, uh, I tried filming this a couple of times and I, I bodged it up. Um, what I will say with this bust in particular, especially over the other two, this does not photo very well. Um, I've seen a lot of pictures of this, and the um, the faceplate, I thought it looked quite yellowy, and it's not, it's, it is a gold, it is a nice gold. Um, I also thought the front panel, where the arc reactor is, looked really kind of plasticky in, in pictures, and um, I thought the actual arc reactor section kind of looked domed as well. Um, it just looked a bit cheap, um, it's nothing like that. When you get this in front of you, you'll, I, I think you'll be quite shocked at how well executed this one is. Um, it, it, like I say, it's, it's betterly, it, it betterly, it's not a word, is it? Um, it's, it is a better execution than um, uh, the 42 and the Patriot. And the guy I got this off had the Patriot of 42. And uh, I know there's, a, there's a, a, a fella on YouTube, I can't remember his name, got a really, really in, insane collection. And he sold the 42 and, and the Patriot to keep this one. And in all honesty, I can understand why. I didn't think I'd actually say that because I love the 42, the, the sheer size of it. I love the Patriot as well. But the sheer size of that 42 with those shoulder bells is so appealing. But this, it, there's, there's no niggles with it. There's, this is flawless, absolutely flawless. I cannot fault this bust. Um, oh, I, I, actually, that's a slight lie, but this is maybe me. I'm, just, I'm not overly sh sure I like the blue kind of um, circular outing on the arc reactor. I don't mind it. I think it's, it looks quite nice. I just... I'm not bothered here or there. I, I, I think if it was white, it might look better. I, I don't know. Um, but in terms of the bust itself, I can't fold it. I cannot fold it. There's there's no issues. There's no QC, and it's a, a surprisingly superb paint job. It, it really is. It's a really really nice paint job. Let's try and get in quite close. Work our way down. Also, as well, the arc, the arc reactor. Again, I, I thought it looked quite cheap in pictures, but it's really flat. It's got a really nice. When you sort of see it reflecting there, it's got a really sort of high gloss to it. So that's nice as well. It looks, it looks premium. It looks, it looks quality. What I'll do, I will just do a quick pause, and we'll get them all lit up. So we'll have a little look. So give me a second. Okay, here we go. So just got him all wired in. Have another little look as we just go up and down. So, just bear with me. Probably be a bit of camera shake because I'm quite close to this. I'm doing one-handed on my phone. 
just flick that and there you go. Step back. And there it is. Really, really nice bright LEDs. Again, same same with the other two busts. Um, with the arc reactor, with the light on, it takes away a lot of the blue. It just gives a nice kind of, um, just a hint of blue. I quite like that, actually. I quite, I quite like the way it kind of changes as you put the light on. Um, I was looking at um, uh, Sean's videos. He, he got this recently on YouTube. It's got an insane collection. And uh, I think he's got one of the covers for the arc reactor that I got for the 42, but a slightly different design. So I, I might look into getting that because they do look really nice. But um, let's just turn them around so we get a, a side on view. And try and get a good bit of focus. The light's coming down, at, um, the light's coming down a little bit. So uh, it might be looking a little bit dull. Let's turn them this way. Really, really nice bust. I, I like I say, I was pleasantly, pleasantly surprised by this. Um, I think it's a very, very underrated piece. Excuse me. Um, yeah, I think it's very, very underrated. So a little look at the helmet. Bring him back round. There he is. Really, really nice. Glad to finally add this. Um, it goes really well with the other two busts. I've just got to get a, uh, a stand of some sort to, to get him perched up next to him. Um, I don't know. This might be my last Iron Man bust. Um, I'm happy with those three and, and the small um, bust from Iron Man 2. I'm really happy with what I've got at the moment on those. So. It might be the last one, but you never know. You never know. I do like these these life-size Iron Mans. But um, just thought I'd give you a little look. Very, very happy with this. Um, really, really good. Um, recommend it if you can get this. I think it's I think it's flawless. Um, uh, it, it's just it's perfect, particularly the paint job. And when you've got something as substantial as this, as and you need you need to get uh, with the Iron Man kind of suit and in particular the red suit you've got to nail it and Sideshow did it on this one they really did nail it so kudos to those I think I'll end it there guys um, look out for my next video got another pretty cool crazy piece so uh, I'll try and get it up in the next few days and until then catch you later have a good evening guys and if you're um Watching all the uh, San Diego Comic Con stuff on the tube, uh, enjoy it. There's some absolutely insane stuff on the way. Um, I don't know about you guys, but the most impressive thing and surprising thing I see was that ECC uh, Gremlins 2. Ah, oh, man, that just looks so good. I'm, I may have to get that. But um, enjoy it, guys. Have a good weekend. Catch you on the next video.